It started with a vision. A vision to make the unreal real. My goal was to create a fantasy steampunk world through photography on a budget of about a hundred bucks. I set out to make the most amazing steampunk photo shoot ever to be created on the smallest budget. Of course, I couldn't do it on my own. I had to drag my best friends down with me. Tanya, our beautiful model, Andy to help as crew and be there for comic relief, and Dean because I can't go anywhere without my little brother. We start with the smallest budget known to man. A hundred dollars to make an amazing costume and props to go along with it. Lucky for me, I am a crafty and resourceful person. I went out with about a million coupons, headed to dollar stores and craft stores with great deals. Once I bought everything, it was time to make the costume. With company, of course. I took the ordinary and made it extraordinary. A water gun? Try a steam powered gun. Swimming goggles? Nope, they're a pair of goggles to protect from machinery. Everything came out beautifully. All we needed was a quick model session to make sure everything fit. It looked fantastic. All that was missing was a few accessories, but besides that, we were ready. We set the date and planned to head out to Lancaster, Pennsylvania for an old fashioned steam field. The weekend finally came, and we packed up the car and set out for a real photogenic adventure. The drive up, like most trips, was the furthest thing from boring. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Makes no sense to me. My cat is everywhere. We could really, like, produce a really great TV show. Yeah. Me and Andrew, really like every it. time we're not in the car, it comes yeah. on. When we're hanging out with Savannah, so we play this? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't stop laughing or singing at any point until we took a break to stretch our legs. We found ourselves at Cabela's, a huge hunting and fishing store. Of course, fun ensued because there's never a dull moment with us. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine I keep my eyes wide open all the time I keep the ends out for the tie that binds Because you're mine, I walk the line But we were back on the road in 30 minutes, only to stop for gas And then we hit the road for real Finally we made it to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The scenery was beautiful. Farms as far as the eye could see. It must be Monday. What a dumb day. Can't drag my butt out of But we weren't here for farms. We were here for trains. Steep trains. We started our shoot at the Stroudsburg Railroad Museum where Tanya would be posing in front of trains. First, we had to get her makeup ready. Then it was the costume. And Dean impatiently waiting to get into the museum because trains are one of his favorite things. Once in the museum, the photo shoot began. It consisted of me telling Tanya where and how to pose. And me trying to keep my composure when bystanders got in the shot. Dean, losing his patience like always, went off to explore the museum on his own and managed to let everyone in on the majesty of steam train. After this long shoot, we got a well-deserved break. Just next door was a working steam train. We sat back and enjoyed the scenic views that accompanied. All the people waving at you, speed along, pop, pop, popping along all day. We're all so proud to be famous and you. 
After that, we carried on to our next shoot site. It was a quiet park with an elegant approach. Tanya switched into a long skirt and cute bolero, which made her look like a total Victorian. We strolled around the lake, gathering beautiful and scenic shots until we were hit with exhaustion. We ended the day with ice cream and a good time sharing stories and jokes like we always do. We headed home, and I had high expectations for my steampunk photo shoot. I couldn't wait to get home and edit all the shots we took during our wonderful stay in Lancaster, Pennsylvania.